All right, everyone, welcome to welcome to Cricket 101. This is the entry level course. We're gonna go over the basics of cricket, how to play. Um, I'm here with my co-professor Anish. Anish, you want to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Anish. Uh, All right, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is an entry level course. We're gonna be teaching the the basics to cricket, the game. Uh, it's one of the most popular in the world. If you live in America, it's kind of like what football is to us. That's what cricket is in like India, Australia, like 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 the Freak UK. Australia. Population wise, like one of the most popular sports in the whole world. So we're going to teach you the basics on how to play it. If you're like American, you probably know what baseball is. So the baseball field is kind of similar uh, in concept, but it just makes it a little bit easier to teach. So in baseball, you've got a diamond shaped field, you've got the pitcher, and then you, the batter, you stand right, right here at home plate. So you're facing this way. You want to hit the ball in this direction when the pitcher throws the pitch, right? So, uh, and if you hit it outside of these uh, lines right here, these lines are called the foul lines, and if you hit it outside, it's a foul ball, and it does not count. You have to, you have to hit it like inside the lines for it to be like like uh, an active ball, right? Um, cricket is different in the way that the field is a circle. Uh, you have a pitch in the middle, and you're standing here as the batsman. You can hit it in any direction you want. You can hit it behind you. You can hit it like the same forwards the way you're facing. You hit to the sides. You can hit it behind. You can hit it any way you want. There's no foul lines. Um, and, and yeah, so so every single ball that you hit can be like a live ball if you want it to be. It's kind of up to you. Anish, do you have any, do you have any uh, input? Uh, no, sounds good. Keep going. All right, cool. Thanks. Um, so, so we'll we'll get rid of this here. Awesome. We'll get <laughs> shut up. We'll get rid of this. Um, so, so pretty much pretty much how it works uh, is. Um, so there's, there's two teams similar to baseball. Um, so there's the defending team. So all the players are going to be, they're going to be out in the field playing like, you know, different positions and whatnot. Um, there's going to be, no, 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 okay. Make the dots for one team blue. You're that's such a good point, dude. So there's going to be the defending team, uh, similar to baseball. Their defenders are all going to be playing out in the field. They're going to be trying to make outs, uh, we'll call it. In cricket, they're called wickets. So, so there you got the defenders all in the field. There's also a bowler. We'll put him here, and there's the wicket Wait, keeper. I should who's, add. I yeah, should add. Right. That in a, and under a good captaincy. Yeah the fielders probably won't be arranged like that right i'm just i'm just just for the for as, as like a general okay. well concept. i just want to make sure that, that it's not... yeah we're, we'll get we'll get there uh, right? yeah and there's 11 on a team right there's yeah. yeah so there's there's nine in the field and then there's the wicket keeper and the wicket keeper and the bowler so yes. similarly to baseball um when you're on the offensive team most of your team is not going to be on the field you're going to be like you know like watching from from the the, the sideline like you know waiting for your turn um when you're when you're but the difference uh, between cricket and baseball is there's going to be two people of the offensive team playing at the same time so one's going to be here and one's going to be here and so so this right here this is called the pitch and basically it's a it's like a long rectangle of dirt and then you've got these things called wickets they pretty much come out of the ground on either side you've got three of them right um yeah so yeah, this is what the pitch looks like, and we'll get back to this later. But but pretty much, um, so when you're up, this is you. You're the batsman, and then your teammates on the other side at the other set of wickets. The the bowler will throw the ball. He'll 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 bowl um, towards your set of wickets. And similarly to baseball, uh, you try to hit it when he when he throws it. Pretty much, if it's like a good bowl and you want to swing at it, um, and then. When like in baseball, when you hit the ball, you run to first base, right? Um, and then if you make it all the way around the bases and you hit home plate, you score a run. Uh, in cricket, how it works is there's there's two ways you can score, right? So you can, well, there's more than two, uh, but we'll get into that later. So the two basic ways you can score is if you hit the ball and it's in play, right? And you decide to run to this side after you hit it, and your teammate runs to the side, like you go an opposite way. So he goes to where you were at. Um, and if you guys both successfully make it to the other side, it counts as a run, right? Uh, the yes. other way is if you hit it 
over the boundary, right? So if you hit the ball, and so in, in baseball, the fence is like up in the air, right? But in cricket, it's just a line on the ground. So, so if you this is this is just like a two dimensional line, right? So if yeah. you hit the ball and it crosses the line on the ground, it's four points. If you hit it over the line in the air, then it's six points. So, and you don't have to run and you stay like in the place you're at, but the, that's but how you- But if you want, you can run if you want to switch with your teammate. Where are you supposed right, to yeah. run to? Um, you run to, to the, the other side, side of wickets. So this pitch. is the pitch right here. Um, you've got three wickets on either side. You're standing here as uh, the batsman or like right in front of it actually. And then your teammate is going to be on this side, like over here. And then you have a so you bowler over here. Yeah, so you basically switch spots. And then the wicket keeper ah. is like back here. Um, right. Any questions so far? Is there office I love hours? cricket. You love cricket? <laughs> yeah, uh, office, office hours. hours uh, yeah. Midnight um, to 1 a.m. Yeah. For me, my office hours on Fridays. On Fridays, my so. mine are gonna be from three a.m. to four a.m. Uh, on <laughs> <laughs> on every oh, really on on <laughs> on the third Wednesday of every other month. <laughs> so yeah, so so you better get everything while it's live in this lecture. So so we got the scoring covered. That's how you score points. Those are the main ways. So in baseball, well, I should also okay, I yeah, go also ahead. say that um, you you're not limited to one run. You, yeah, because you you only said that. right. Of course, of course, yeah. Yeah, just to make sure that uh, you guys can the batsman can run as many times as they back see back and fit. forth. Yeah, yeah, and that's only if the ball doesn't uh, cross the boundary, right? So um, if it's correct. like if you hit it like over here, for example, and they're like, and these guys are chasing it, and you run here, your teammate runs here, they haven't gotten the ball yet then you guys can just keep running. And the amount of times that you like make it to the other side successfully is how many runs you get. Yeah, but, but if there's an out at any point, none of those runs count. Yeah. There's a run out, and we'll talk about run outs in a second. Also, you can score a boundary and run, but those extra runs don't add on top of the boundary. Right, yeah. You can just like choose to switch spots pretty much. Yeah. But you're only going to get a maximum of four or six points, depending on... Yeah. Okay. Um, also, um, this this also goes with that. But if you hit the ball, you can hit the ball and just choose not to run. So it's like a dead ball, pretty much. So if you hit it and on the ground, well, obviously, if you hit it in the air to the fielder, then you're out. But if you hit it on the ground to a fielder or you hit it on the ground anywhere and it doesn't go very far and you're like, I probably won't make it to the other side safely. Um, they'll they'll get me out. Right. Um, then you don't have to run. You can pretty much just just uh decide not to run and then and then yeah yeah it just goes to the next bowl um yeah. so here's here's we'll we'll explain the wickets now do you think we should we can we move on yeah all right so we're gonna explain the wickets now so these are these are the wickets there are two pairs of them um so in baseball you have this thing called the strike zone right it's like um it's like a a it's above the plate right and then uh, if the pitcher throws the ball in the strike zone, it's considered like a good pitch. And if you don't take, if you don't swing, uh, and it goes by you, it's a strike, so it counts against you. If it's outside, it's considered a bad pitch, uh, and it's a ball, so um, you don't want to swing at that. Uh, it's kind of similar in cricket, except your job is so you kind of only get one strike, and you kind of only get one out. But you can hit the ball in in baseball. Um, when you're up at the plate, it's your turn to bat. Um, when you hit the ball, whether an out is made or you get a hit, your turn is over, like regardless, and it's the next person's turn. But you get like multiple turns per game. In cricket, you pretty much just keep hitting the ball until you get out. And then each person on the team only gets one like turn. So um, when you're when you're uh, when it's your turn in cricket, your job is um, to defend the wickets, pretty much. You can think of it like that. So so when the bowler throws the ball, uh, he throws it towards your wickets. You don't want it to hit these wickets. Um, is like the main thing. You don't want these to get. There's like little things in here, and you don't want them to get knocked over. But you also, you don't want it to hit the wickets like at all, right? So you are gonna use the bat to like defend it. You can hit it like really hard if you think it's like a good pitch, a good ball. You can get like runs on it. But if it's not one that you like. Um, but it's still going to hit the wickets. You still hit it like a little bit, but you don't have to run. So you're pretty much just defending the whole time. Another thing is you have to defend it with the bat. If you 
attempt to defend it with like your leg that's actually called a lbw leg before wicket yeah. it means you're out so whenever the ball is in the trajectory of the wicket you have you, to use the bat you can't you like... have to use the bat if if it doesn't touch the bat and it's in the tra- trajectory of the wicket according to the umpire you're out yeah so you can't just like body block him you have to hit the ball with the bat to like, what if the bowler hits me on purpose? Then that's fine. Like you're, oh, that's not, yeah, that's not you're not you're not supposed to, but like it doesn't it's count. Fine for the bowler. Like in baseball, in baseball you get a free base. In cricket, it doesn't matter. Like you're, uh, if, walk it off. Well, if you stand in front of the wickets and he hits you, then you're out. Is the thing because you were technically blocking the ball from hitting the wickets, right? So what? Yeah. If the bowler just wants to hit you like twenty eight times in a row. Then you should dodge the ball. I guess the only like formal example of bad bowling is a wide. So if the bowler bowls the ball like several feet yeah. to the right or to the left of where your bat can actually reach, then the the batting team gets a complimentary point and then the bowler has to re bowl. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. So so that's 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 the basics of how, how it goes, right? Is there anything else we're missing? Oh, Just if for you wickets? so so here's how you get we didn't explain this here's how you get people out so like in you know how in baseball when someone hits a ground ball in the infield um, and then the infielders will they'll throw the ball to first base and if the ball gets to the base before you're there you're out right so similarly to that in wick in, in cricket you, there's a couple ways you can get out right so if you hit it in the air so if you the bowler you hit the ball in the air the fielder catches it on a fly you're out. Um, if the bowler throws the ball towards the wickets, you miss the ball, it hits the wickets, you're out. If you stand in front of the ball and it hits you as it was about to hit the wickets, you're out, right? Um, if Wait, you, I zoned out. Can you repeat that? So, okay, so if you can watch the recorded lecture. Yeah, yeah, you can, wa- you can no, watch. No, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> or you can come to my office hours. Uh, I've said, I stayed there previously. Yeah, 3 to 4 a.m. I give you an hour window. Or you can go to the TA's office hours. Yeah. Isopod is yeah. our TA for yeah. this course. Yeah. He has the oh, most experience. I did not sign up for that. He has the oh, most experience in cricket in, in a cricket besides us. So Yeah, come to my unpaid labor. Yeah. So yes. so pretty much um if you stand Those in front two of two to th- two to three AM oh, shut up, TA, shut Sorry. up, know your place. I'm speaking right now. <laughs> so if you stand in front of the wickets, the bowler um bowls the ball and it hits you. Uh, like it hits your body as you're blocking the wickets, then you're also out. If wait, you wait, 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 can you explain the special rule about our no, 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 we're getting to that. We're getting to that. We're getting to that. That's the special. Good, good. That's at the end. We didn't. Forget. This is the reason why we're having this lecture, right? This is why you're the TA. Yeah. This is Come yeah. On. This is why you're not one of the professors. Okay. Like, please you, you, gotta, track. you gotta know your place. Really Stick to the right. textbook. Okay, no, you, you. I don't think you remember all of them. So we're gonna we're gonna re, this is a refresher. So, also, if you hit the ball on the ground towards one of the fielders and you decide to run, but they so you're running to this side, right? If they throw the ball and hit these wickets before you get there, you're out. Right. So that's that's pretty much how uh, a lot of the outs are made, right? So if you throw the ball towards the wickets and it, it hits the wickets before the before the runner gets there, the runner is out. Pretty much. So, yeah, so either you can throw it and you know you have really good aim and it hits the wicket, or you can throw it to a nearby teammate. And yeah, then and they if can, they have the ball in their hand, yeah, and like it's kind punch of like the a wicket. Base. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. It's it's like a base. Yeah, and the the thing is like in baseball, when you hit the ball, you drop the bat and run. Right in cricket, you keep the the bat with you, like you run with the bat, and you can use the bat to touch the line faster. Actually, you yeah, you so have the bat to right. Is part of your body yeah, you have to use you you, you want to use the bat yeah. to like to like reach out and then hit the line. Yeah, um, and then the, it's, it's the like batsman, extension. Yeah, and the batsman who is running toward the wicket that has been hit will be out. Not both of them. Yeah, only not one. The other one, just the one who's running toward that wicket. And and the, okay, so they they always pitch the ball. Um, they always bowl the ball towards towards this wicket though. It always goes the same direction. Um, the only times that it changes who is up is if you run here and your teammate runs here and you guys switch spots. Now your teammate is, is uh, batting, we'll call it, and then is, is the batsman. and then But you're on the other side now. But they're always going to be bowling it towards this direction. Um, or if one of you guys gets out and then another player comes and takes their spot. So everyone gets one out pretty much. So once everybody on the team is out, then they switch sides. 
and then everybody follow makes sense oh yeah and then like the accumulative score like the amount of runs that everyone on the team gets like add together that's how you like decide the winner of the game pretty much so it's like baseball but there's only one inning and everybody gets like one turn and you just keep hitting until you get out once pretty much so yeah, they and then one there's... good player, and then he just scores. For yeah, them. yeah. Usually, usually they'll put that player in like the third position because I think it was like, you know, found to be the optimal position. The best hitter in baseball, best player. yeah, goes first or third. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, third. So right. another thing that you didn't mention was just a little detail: the bowler. It's not just one designated. Oh yeah, bowler yeah. They can team. they can rotate. Um... In a, like officially, usually it's every six balls, we switch that's to a different a, bowling. That's an over. Yeah, it's an over. Yeah, yeah. But we we probably won't count like overs. Yeah, it. but we 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 probably won't play that because that's a little bit hard to like keep track of. No, I know, but just just to clarify that there's yeah. not just one bowler the whole time. Yeah, right. And then there's there's different types of bowling, so you can be like a fast bowler. So like you. Uh, by the way, when you when you throw the ball, when you bowl it, you want it to bounce. Usually, you want it to bounce like like before the bat the batsman. Um, yeah, that's your best chance of getting a wicket. Yeah, exactly. You can throw it like in the air, and it's called a full toss. But most people won't do that because you could easily hit a six off of that. Exactly. It's like baseball. It's like it's a lot easier to hit it because the the when it hits the ground, the bounce is like more unpredictable. So, yeah, and ideally you want to get a Yorker is what they call it. So as close to the wicket as right. possible. Yeah. But bounce. Um but it can't yeah, okay. Um so so there's fast bowling, which is where you throw it really fast. There's spin bowling where you throw it slower, but it has like spin on it, so it has a lot more movement. So it'll like miss the bat of the batsman a lot more and hit the wickets, maybe. Um okay. Anything else we need, or are we good to go into like the special rules? Um, oh, you, if you, we didn't really talk about the wicket keeper, right? Yeah. Job. So, so if you're if you're the batsman, and you you swing at the ball, and like it it like tips the bat, and the and the wicket keeper catches it in the air, you're out because like the ball went up in the air, and and they caught it, and it's an out. Yeah, basically, he's another fielder. Yeah, but he has he gloves on. Same. He has cool gloves. Yeah. True. And so, like he'll he'll usually what he'll usually guard this wicket, right? So if yeah, this guy's so running here, then you can throw it to the wicket keeper, and he'll hit the wickets with it to like yeah. get the out to get the wicket, pretty much. Yeah. Right. Is that everything? Or. Uh yeah, I think so. All right. So, so here we go. Here we're gonna go into uh the special rules, right? So this is this applies to when we play cricket. Official, like like. World Cup cricket probably won't recognize yes. these rules, but but this will be on the exam. Yeah, this is this is like the proper way to play to play cricket. Right? So I'm gonna make a new a, a new pitch here, just for the sake of uh, ah, demonstration. Nice. What? What pitch? What? What? <laughs> it's called a pitch. This is yeah. It's called a yeah. Wait, I don't get it. Wait, or I don't think your TA makes sense. And... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, TA, I don't, I don't TA, want to TA was drinking a little bit before, before the lecture. Sorry, guys. Okay. So here we're going into the special rules. And this this is very important to keep track of for the scoring, right? So you've got your teammate here. This is you, the batsman. And this applies to both sides, by the way, not just like one. So you gotta know you gotta know the scoring for, for both of them. So these are all gonna apply to scoring pretty much. So if you are at bat, right, and the bowler uh, bowls the ball, right? And the ball, um, you hit the ball and it hits the bowler in the nuts, right? That counts for uh, automatic 10 runs, right? So it's more I than think, a six. Um, I think Azopod could probably give some insight here because I think he's, his current dissertation is, uh, the dissertation he's working on is actually on the nutsack shot. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. You agree with this so far? Yeah, I agree with that 100%. Right. 10 runs, uh, automatic 10 runs for the batsman's team. If you are, say, you're the, you're the batsman and you hit the ball into um, into the wicket keeper's uh, nuts or 
any of the other fielders nuts. So you got other fielders out in the field, right? So, so it's five, it's automatic five runs if you hit any of the fielders in the nuts, including the wicket keeper and including all spectators or anybody else who's like in the general vicinity of the field. So say you hit it here and you hit this random like, <laughs> this random like spectator who's walking by the field in the nuts, automatic five runs. All right, so... So that's how you that's how you calculate that one. That applies to everybody who is on the field or off the field, right? Wicket keeper or bowlers ten runs, any spectator five runs, or fielder or the wicket keeper. So like any like random student walking by the field, if you hit the ball, it hits them in the nuts. Automatic five runs. And the bowler throws the ball right, Thro bowls the the pitch, and it hits you in the nuts. You're automatically out. Plus, your team gets a uh, negative five runs automatically. So you really want to avoid this one because not only do you lose a wicket for your team, but you also get negative runs. So you, you really don't want to do this one. Ball. I'm going to get hit, and on top of that... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the punishment okay. is you get hit in the nuts, first of all. I'm just having a bad day after that. I'm exactly. Saying. So that's what I'm saying. Like You really well, want to avoid this one. Like You're like also out. It. I like to see it as a double negative. So yeah, it's it's more of a positive. That's in the I end. would I would say that this is a no way positive. I think I think it's take, a good learning lesson. It, well, you do learn. Yeah, you learn not to get hit in the nuts by the by the ball. You really want to prioritize that. So, because that you not only are out. So but let's um, say I'm a bowler. I'm actually aim for the balls. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because you are... um in most cases the trajectory of the balls is sort of the trajectory of the wickets so i guess you could consider them to be that the optimal place to bowl right so you get automatic out plus automatic negative five runs for your team so you don't want to do that one and you just remind me of the rule if you're the batsman and you hit the ball and it hits your teammate in the nuts what is that one on the tricky one oh man i'd have to defer to eyes upon on this yeah, one. yeah i would i would agree on that one i was deafened that's okay. oh my god. Well, that's very helpful to us. We should we call it that your teammate is out? <laughs> In what situation? <laughs> <laughs> so, I I think I think that I think that makes the most sense. So if you're the batsman, right? And no, you, I think you should be able to score points for your own team. Right? But you hit your, that, no, you get you, the me? the point is you get penalized for being hit in the nuts, right? If you are the if you're the bowler, you get hit in the nuts. It's a penalty for you because the other team gets points. If you get hit in the nuts, it's a penalty for you because you're out and you also lose points. So if you hit your teammate in the nuts, it should also penalize your team, right? So your teammate's out. Okay. First of all, do we do we add any um? You mean the uh, your are you partner? Guys making the rules right now. Yeah. Do we do we add any like point deductions to that, or is the team no no no? Being we're out? not we're not making anything up. Don't yeah. get the wrong idea here. Yeah. This is a, this, this is, is all set in stone. Exactly. No, your your like, teammates as is said out. in the lecture. Your so, teammates out. Yeah, but do are we because when when you get out, it's also an automatic negative five run deduction from your team score. So, is there any deduction for? Uh, hitting your teammate, I say it should also be negative five runs for hitting your I teammate. I say it shouldn't be negative five because it's really cool. Yeah, it should. It should well, you don't. Be like why is it cool? negative twenty? Honestly, because he's the, the odds, only the other odds. player <laughs> yeah, yeah. on your team on the field. You have the entire <laughs> degrees. Yeah, like, like how much? Okay, and but how it's not a mix aiming at the other There's wickets nothing. anyway. Like yeah, you're yeah. never <laughs> aiming there. Exactly. And he's the only other person true. on your team on the it's field. It's the only place it's you're trying to be minus aim, 20. Whereas I agree. The I agree with these arguments. trying to hit you in the nuts every time. The, okay, that's not the point. But I, I, agree yeah, but like, with, I agree with the argument. It is a good argument. My only counter to that would be that we would want it to match like with the five run intervals for the other ones. But it stays the, Okay, then it should be minus five because... Okay. The bowler and the batsman are kind of in the same area. Yeah. So if you're trying to hit the the bowler in the nuts. Okay. We we'll, 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 we'll call it we'll call it minus issues. 10. Minus five. We'll call it minus minus 5 minus as well. 10. Sorry. No, minus no, no. Five, minus minus five. 5. Right. Right. I meant to say yeah. 5 there. Let's go I, minus I 5. I apologize. All right. We'll call it that one is going to be um teammate Guys, everyone makes mistakes. Teammate out plus uh Minus five runs for your team automatically. Oh, oh, a oh, one I almost forgot. Almost forgot. This one, this one's very special, right? So, so if you, if uh, you're the batsman, you hit the ball, you swing it. Okay. If you swing, if you're out like in some way, right? Like you swing and you miss, the ball hits the wickets. 
but the ball then hits the wicket keeper in the nuts, <laughs> then you're not out. Then wait, then, wait, wait. You're you not skipped out. over like just the scenario where it hits the wicket keeper in the nuts. Why does oh, it hit true. the wicket first and <laughs> then the wicket keeper? True. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll just I don't know. We'll just okay. All right. We should do that one first. You're right. Okay. So say, um, you're, you. <laughs> okay. Say, say you're the batsman. The bowl comes in. And it just it misses the wickets and you don't swing or you swing and miss, it doesn't matter. It doesn't hit the wickets, but it hits the wicket keeper in the nuts. It's automatic plus five runs for your team. Plus five runs, because it's the opposing team getting penalized, right? Um, not that you did anything, but uh the, the bowler hit his own wicket keeper in the nuts, so plus five runs for the team automatically. Alright. Got that one? Yeah. Yeah. On top of that, if uh, if the bowl comes in and uh, it hits the wickets, but then it bounces off the wickets and then hits the wicket keeper in the nuts. Um, this is a very rare occurrence. Yeah, but, but if it were to happen. It's you, quite a miracle when it does happen. <laughs> right. It's, it is kind of Hail like, it is, it's a, it, it is a miracle yeah. when it happens because you would normally be out, but if it bounces off the wickets or, or whatever else happens and then it hits the, uh, hits the wicket keeper in the nuts, uh, it counts as not out. Not out. So uh, the out That's no cool. longer counts. Are we applying any other penalty for that just because of the odds of that happening? Or, or are we just like... No, no I it's think just, that's, no, I think just that's not fine. out? Okay. Uh, so it just reverses the out call pretty much. And this also oh. applies to if you hit the ball um, and then... <laughs> And then, uh, what, what, God, what happens? It hits okay. the wickets in the air and then bounces off and hits the wicket keeper in the nuts in the air. Then you're also not out. Even if it Wait, hits what? these wickets. Okay, that's that not very likely. Okay. What about if it hits uh, a spectator in the nuts? That's, we already went over that, but you're not paying attention. So that, that's an automatic five runs. I was, I had to go. That, that applies to this one right here. So, plus five? so okay, every, so you hit the wicket, the, the bowler in the nuts, it's automatic 10 runs. If you hit, the wicket keeper in the nuts, you hit any of the other fielders in the nuts or any of the spectators or like like random people that are walking by the field in the nuts, it's automatic five runs. Everybody got that one? I like that. All right. Are we missing anything? <laughs> of course you like that. That's why you're writing about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Missing anything? Any uh, Henry, I'm in class. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? You said he's in class. <laughs> I said I'm in class. <laughs> Bro, we're this cricket 101, dude. Hey, hey he has a co professor. Oh, he's telling what? Yeah, my brother's here. He's a oh, okay. The walk on is that okay? Yeah, he can oh, come. Wow. Yeah, he can audit. You want to come play cricket? No, all right. Wow, <laughs> boo. On all right, are you yeah. missing anything? Anish, you think we got everything? Oh. He's playing uh, baseball, which kind of is lame, but not just kidding. No, we're, uh, we we covered everything. Hmm. Blue team wins, so anyway, by the way. Yeah. So oh. if if the bowler throws the ball and mm -hmm. you hit it and it hits his nuts, it's cricket. If you hit his nuts, it's plus 10 runs. Yeah. One join. He said he wants to join. Because <laughs> of that? <laughs> yeah. All <laughs> you want to get hit in the nuts? Actually, <laughs> what was bowling? You try to hit the batsman in the nuts for plus five. Over five. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah, you get plus five plus the bat. The batsman's out automatically, plus even if it's like way out. out of the line of the wickets. He's still out. Yeah. Well, that also applies to if you're the batsman and you hit the ball, but can, then it hits yourself in the nuts. It also counts as an automatic out and minus five. If runs. you want a full uh, overview, the lecture will be on Viper's second channel. Yeah. Yep. Recording lecture. Yeah, just... yep. <laughs> All right, get out of here. We need to finish up. Yeah. All right, any uh, any questions for us? Anyone? No thanks. Oh, Edward. All right. Me this a test? Get him ahead of this. Is this everything? Uh, yes. Yes. All right. Unless thanks. Anyone has Wait, questions? We should, any we any questions, comments, though. concerns, anything? What was that isopod? What'd you say? What about like uh, our equipment for setting up the field? This isn't cricket yeah. seminar, guys. Right. This, 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 this conversation can take well, place we're all uh, outside of the lecture hall.
All right. So yeah, so you're, you're not a teacher. You're not a teacher. TA, don't don't overstep your your, your role yeah, here. Yeah, not a T. I'm a TA. Okay. So is this is everything? Any any questions, comments, concerns by uh, any of the audience? Any of the bro students said or? questions, comments, concerns. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Make sure to uh, sign up for Cricket 102 next quarter. Right. If you pass, yeah. you need a D or better, and I don't know if any of you guys are gonna, especially you, Edward. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I'm getting a little I've hostile seen here. Progress on the I feel like I'm better than the TA. No offense. <laughs> we'll have to oh, settle we'll this on the. Bad. We'll have okay. to settle this on the pitch. On the I think. Field. Yeah. yeah, we will. We're gonna settle this on the pitch, guys. Let's You're keep it out of the lecture hall. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Trust me, I know. I'm <laughs> All right, so. Uh, yeah, anyways, follow-up assignment will be posted to Canvas uh, within the hour. So. No. Oh, my God. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys. Uh, when are uh, midterms is it open there? note? Um, <clears throat> no, you got a note by heart. No. Come yeah, on. no, it's, it's proctored. You're going to have your notes on the pitch? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Damn it. <laughs> you gonna take your you gonna take your notebook Shit. out on the on the field, bro? Like you gotta know it. Yeah, it's gotta be instinct to you. I'm gonna pull up the Zoom call. This is Zoom recording. Yeah, well, it'll this the Zoom call will will be published for your reference, but uh, okay. All right, thanks yeah. everyone. Thanks everyone for attending this lecture. Uh, uh, Cricket 101. Uh, good luck with your studying, and uh, we'll we'll see you next time. We'll see you soon.